All right, we are here at 989 Ralston Meridian. Um, you can see here it's a cul-de-sac. Um, this cul-de-sac leads directly into Pine Street and then immediately to your left is um, Locust. So um, here's the home right here. Roof rise, it is a, your three tab shingle. Um, there's a decent amount of waves in it, but I think that's pretty normal. Um, it looks like, um, hard to tell when the year was, it was installed, but it's three tabs, so it's newer technology, so that's good. Um, the evaporator cooler on the outside is older. I saw the year, um, it looked like it was 1994, so older item there. Um, along the, along with the furnace and the inside is also... I believe 1994 um, we'll go in there but there's no light switch that I could find so it'll be pretty dark so for the most part though siding looks in good in good shape garage door looking at the soffits gutters everything is good this section doesn't have a gutter um, looks like a little bit of wear on the soffit, but for the most part, things look good. Uh, almost everything is vinyl windows throughout the home. So, as so you walk in here, got a living room, some cathedral ceilings, um, which is nice. Living room, probably about, yeah, I would say between like, 12 and then another 16 feet or so we have some of those upper shelves there cool so we got the bathrooms down this way uh bathrooms and bedrooms down this way we got dining kitchen and we have kind of like a secondary living room area we'll we'll look at that as well so as you come in here this is just a storage closet here we got the thermostat so older thermostat. To your right, we got the bathroom. There, got some tile. Looks like some newer tile work been done. Um, yep, even this family looks a little newer and looks like this is um, LVP. Got the first bedroom here. Smaller bedroom, about 10 by 10. The closet, just regular eight foot ceilings. Um, next bedroom, roughly the same size. A little extra room here for the door, so. Looks in good shape though. Um, nothing noticeable as far as this regular wear and tear. Looks like some kids wear and tear, you know, in the paint. So pretty easy to clean up here. Um, let's see. The doors and the trim, again, some work to be done. Mainly cosmetic. Um, and another closet, storage closet here. Okay master here um decent size it's about 12 by 11 12 by 12 maybe so this is a decent size again just like wear and tear for the most part closets some paint um again the windows look good vinyl see here yeah this and this bathroom not too bad yeah again older cabinets it looks like look like older cabinets with newer uh, countertops and finishes um, looks like the paint job can be yeah the nail needs some paint job oh interesting um, we got some we got a hole here and some discoloring not sure if that's just moisture buildup or what. See a little crack coming down here. 
Um, so, this one needs to be cleaned up. Hard to tell if it's just kind of weather, moisture, or what. Um, so, but yeah, some painting needing. There's some kind of streaking going on or just like poor, just poor paint jobs. Again, a lot of aesthetics though right here, but something that we'll have to look into as far as the roofs there. Um, but here are the, yeah, here are the main three bedrooms. You got, got a hole in there. So it's just kind of wear and tear, but nothing that paint cannot fix. So that's pretty easy. I don't see anything with the carpet. The transition here is kind of poor, but for the most part, I haven't seen anything that stuck out as far as the carpet being damaged, but um, it's, it's all right. Now let's go. So we have dining room where the laundry is. And then you have the kitchen. So again, I think someone came in here and just did a bunch, all the countertops, because this is new countertops that were sitting on some older cabinets, which is fine. Um, again, some paint chips here and there. Backsplash looks like it was, yeah, it's nice backsplash for the most part. So, um, potentially some painting that can happen to update the cabinets a little bit or refresh them. Um, you got this big old lighting up here for the kitchen and then you have a nice decent size um, longer deep pantry. So fridge, Samsung, Whirlpool, Whirlpool, and fridge air. Cool. Um, so let's look in here. So this is, I'm trying to figure this out, but it's kind of like it's its own little separate living room or a little space here. Um, hard to tell. I tried switching on the lights, but I couldn't find anything that worked. Oh, there we go. Ha, found it. Okay, sweet. I did notice though, um, definitely some drywall. Uh, this looks like just a seam right here. Um, but then I also started to notice a lot of these seams um, in this room particularly are cracking. So it could just be poor seam, seam work by the drywallers. Um, but again, some refreshments. There's some paint that needs to happen here. Some more. So yeah, it looks mainly seams. Whoever did the seams in this drywall work doesn't, doesn't seem like it did a good, good job. But some paint to refresh some of this stuff. Um, there's a little siren, uh, siren on this door, so I'm not going to go through here. But again, vinyl windows. Um, and then again, so this door almost kind of came off itself. Um, you can see it literally just came off. But I have not been able to, to find a light switch for this garage. But there is the water heater and the, um, the furnace. Uh, but that is the same brand as outside, so I'm gonna guess it was it's been it was installed the same time. The water heater. Again, I wasn't able to. Oh, just kidding. Looks like 2015. Great. 2015 for the water heater. That's the same brand and I think the same year as the evaporated cooler outside. So 19 mid 90s. Okay. Got light in here. And finally, let's just go outside real quick. So apologies, the, the owner was here and there was miscommunication. So I am going through this a little quicker. I can add more detail later, so. Okay, a little covering. The patio looks like aluminum here. Um, as you can see by some of these drip edges, there is, there is some water damage because there are no gutters installed. So um, then here is the side area. Interesting, so there is like a double fence there, but it was like completely fenced over with the cedar. Side here, 
little electrical stuff there, boxes. Um, yeah, looks like the outside's not really used at all. Um, needs a bit of love for sure. Um, and yeah, even over here. So this, um, there's a fence that has an opening. Um, does it correspond? Oh, it does. Okay, cool. So this one actually does open or should open. Yep. Should open. Goes to the side yard where the evaporated cooler is. But overall, siding is good shape. The roof looks in decent shape. This aluminum little patio cover is fine. It has a little gutter system as well. This is the door that we were in the room that we were just in, like the second living room. Um, but yeah, I mean, some looks like potentially some water or some, some dog damage in the siding here. So cool. So apologies, a little rushed, but, um, um, if there's anything else that you want to know, let me know. This just looks like the flooring wise over here. Again, this is just like LVP, um, no signs of bowing or separation inside with the flooring so transition looks okay so that looks decent um but there you go that's this home let me know if you have any questions just gonna sneak back here real quick for the hookups yeah all right